In this video, we're going to look at how to find the areas under curves using our calculator. So our first example question here says f of x is equal to e to the x minus 2 minus x plus 2. And we're been asked to find the area between the graph of f of x and the x-axis between x equals 1 and x equals 3. So sometimes you'll be given a diagram of the graph and the area that we're interested in is the one between the graph and the x-axis. So let's graph this on our calculator in order to be able to do what we need to do. So we hit our scratch pad button twice in order to get into the graphical display. And now we just have to input the equation of our function. So it's e to the x minus two, right arrow to get out of the power, minus x plus two. So there's the graph of the function that we're interested in. And now we wanna get this area between the graph and the x-axis. So this is actually just an integral. This will be the integral of the function from one to three. So I go into menu, I can do analyze graph, option number six, and I can do integral, option number six. My lower bound, I just put in one, I hit enter, and my upper bound, I put in three, and I hit enter. So there we have it. We can clearly see the region that we're calculating and we can see the value for the area of that region. It's 2.35 to three significant figures. Now we could have went and calculated this using the exact same methods from the definite integrals video using our algebra. Both these methods work the exact same, so there's no difference. Definite integrals are areas under curves and areas under curves are definite integrals. So this fact actually often comes up in exam questions. So let's look at this in example number two here. We're been asked to find the shaded area in the diagram. So remember what we said, areas under curves are integrals. So we're looking for an integral that represents the area under this curve. So we know what the function is, it's minus x squared minus x plus six, but we don't know what our limits of integration are. So we have to look and see from what point on the x-axis am I starting and up until what point am I finishing? I can see that I'm starting at minus three. So my lower limit has to be minus three. And I can see that the area ends at exactly two. So my upper limit would have to be two. So that means this area can be represented by the integral, the integral from minus three to two of minus x squared minus x plus six dx. So we can calculate the value of this integral using either of the two methods that we have. We can either do it graphically or we can do it algebraically. Let's just remind ourselves of how we do it using the algebra method. So we go menu, calculus option number four, numerical integral, and we just fill in the values that we have. So we would go minus three, all the way until two, and then we just put in our function. So it's minus x squared, minus x, and we have a plus six. Again, don't forget dx with respect to x. I hit enter and I get 20.833. To three significant figures, this will be 20.8. Okay, so let's look at this final example question here now. We've got g of x is equal to minus x squared plus four. And we're been asked to find the area between the curve g of x and the x axis. Now in this question, we don't have a diagram, so we're gonna have to graph this function ourselves. So we're gonna go back into Scratchpad but we've got some stuff here that we don't want from the first part of the question. So we're going to menu, option number one, and option number four, delete all. Yeah, we want to delete everything. It gives a nice clean display to work with. So we're gonna hit tab to type in our new function, and it's gonna be minus x squared plus four. I graph that, and there is the graph of the function that I'm looking for. So we're been asked to find the area between this curve and the x-axis. We know that we can set it up as an integral, but what we don't know is we don't know what our limits on the integral should be. So we're gonna have to find out where does this graph cross or cut the x-axis. So we do that by going into menu, we go analyze graph, and we wanna get zeros of the function. So option number one, choose my upper and lower bounds appropriately and I've got my first zero at minus two. I go in again, analyze graph, zero. I do my lower and my upper bounds and I get my second zero at two. So I can clearly see the graph is cutting at minus two and two. 
So now we have all the information that we need in order to be able to do our integral. So we go into menu, analyze graph, integral, option number six, and we want our lower bound to be minus two. And we want our upper bound to be two. There we go, we have the area that we're looking for and we have its value, 10.666 recurring. So to three significant figures, that would be 10.7.